Hello, my name is Kirk Brown, also known as St. Rambo, and I have a website titled Mobile Auto Club. I want Ron Paul to talk about those forced injections allowed since George Bush came to power in 2001. He's committed codes, violence, uh, violence against the American people, and against the Nuremberg Code. This stuff was allowed in 1999, too. They've been doing forced injections and torture, not only on veterans, but on federal bank examiners. I have been injected and knocked unconscious on more times, on two times. And each time they use two, two injections, two injections on me. I say that the entire regime needs to be flushed. What we have here is the old French word for chape blanc, blanc chape, hat white, white hat. This regime is not doing us any good. I believe, fellow Americans, we are in a technological war and we have been losing for years. Ron Paul is nothing. He's just like the rest of them. Chape blanc, blanc chape, they'll flip the coin again. What they have done, they have conquered Afghanistan, they have conquered Iraq, they have conquered Kuwait, they have conquered Lebanon, they have conquered Palestine, and they have taken away our human rights. Forget about civil rights. I'm not even allowed to film in the lobby of my native city's government. The last time I was in there, in, into the city council meeting in Mobile, Alabama, I reported a, a murder attempt on my life. The federal government had not responded to an attempt on my life after working at the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation reporting money laundering and murder. An attempt was made on my life in 2001 right after, right after St. Valentine's Day. No one cared. I don't care if the regime has toppled it because of what's happened to me. Take a look at my video. I went down to my city council meeting in Mobile, Alabama to film as a reporter and I have federal agents come to my home telling me not to go back down there. And I spoke to an attorney and he said I have the right to do so. They don't care about our rights. I'm a degreed auditor, an agreed accountant, a de and a degreed reporter. I have, I have training in computer science and medical science. I might have been re raped in Flagstaff Medical Center. I was knocked unconscious there in 2004. In 2001, I was injected. I don't know what they did me. There was a federal agent in 2001. My crime, I had parked on VA property. I'm a disabled veteran. They had gotten me addicted to a drug that I was taking from the VA at the time. That since I don't take, I don't use any drugs anymore. I don't go to the VA. Definitely not the VA. I don't use any VA health care. I stay away from the federal government. I urge all other veterans to do the same. Ron Paul is nothing. He's like another automatron. I never hear him talking about forced injections because he won't do it. I like to stuff a few of these up his ass and have him hymn me a hymnal about how good it is to be an American. He won't talk about forced injections. They're not allowing it. This is a Nuremberg Code violation. I urge young people not to ever trust the United States government. Do not serve the United States government. If they come to your door, knocking on your door without a warrant, I advise you not to answer the door or to not let them in. They believe me. They have. They actually. There is actually a gun, a laser gun that puts out the same hertz as your brain waves. That can knock you unconscious or possibly even control you. Because I'm sure they've gone further. Just this past week, I had a bad nightmare, a flashback, or someone actually came in my home. I had a sore on the back of my head right here. I had flashbacks of possibly being raped. Now I had a little blood on my anus that morning. I'm not ashamed to talk about it. It might have been a hemorrhoids, but I have never had that much blood. I have many enemies. I'm an honest bank examiner. I was, I'm an honest reporter. Now I'm unemployed and pushed out of work. I will be going, I hope, this year to Iran or Syria because I want to examine those countries up close. Ron Paul, address this issue, you coward. You're nothing more but chape blanc blanc chape. I hope your regime is toppled. You inject and you torture us veterans. I hope you bastards pay. I'm not playing. I hope the other veterans see this. My life and my career was ruined. You owe me at least $5 million, you bastards. You can send it to you. Check me out. You can have the VA. Contact the VA, the PVA. That's who my representative is. The Paralyzed Veterans Administration. I'm not paralyzed, but I am harmed in more ways than you can imagine. And I want to film in the lobby of my government as a reporter. They have no right to keep me out. The Mobile, Alabama government and the regime in power there is the enemy to the local natives here. We are not allowed in to vote. We are not allowed in. Ignore Ron Paul, my friends. We are in a technological war. This is Kurt Brown, St. Rambone. You can see my website at Mobile Audit Club.